bless John Corla, Taoiseach, the arrogance of your government is absolutely breathtaking. The contempt you, contempt you and your ministers have shown for this doll this afternoon, for opposition TDs this afternoon, and for the people which we represent, the hundreds of thousands of people which we represent, shows that you have lost touch with the real world. And the irony and the hypocrisy of today's announcement, introducing water charges by Minister Alan Kelly, will not be lost on the general public either. During the last general election, Minister Kelly and the Labour Party asked the people of North Tipperary to vote for him to prevent Fine Gael imposing water charges. He stood on a Labour Party manifesto which opposed water charges. His party published a Tesco ad warning people not to vote for Fine Gael because that party wanted to introduce water charges. He is now doing a complete U-turn breaking the promises and the commitments he and his party made. He is now introducing water charges himself. This is the sort of hypocrisy which is undermining democracy in this country. And not to be outdone, the leader of the Labour Party tarnished John Burton TD. Contrary to commitments and promises, has presided over the destruction of the social welfare system. Child poverty is now at 28.6%, with 130,000 additional children living in poverty, affected no doubt by the savage child benefit cuts introduced by the Minister. Other cuts introduced by the Minister include the respite care grant, the abolition of the telephone allowance, the reduction in free fuel scheme, the reduction in the electricity payments, the reduction in maternity benefits, the reduction in one fair family payments, even the abolition of the bereavement grant. And the list goes on. This government, despite election promises, are now implementing the austerity policies of the previous Fianna Fáil Green government. This government cannot be trusted and has no mandate for austerity or for the introduction of water charges. The lie has been peddled that the public won't pay for water. Sorry, Deputy. I, I, well, I, 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 deputy right, no, sorry, no, Deputy. The untruth uh, has been deputy, peddled. Deputy, the untruth Haley, has been deputy, peddled. Uh, untruth is the word. Uh, the untruth has that. been peddled that the public won't pay for water. But the public have paid, are paying, and continue to pay for water through general taxation. The water charges now being proposed are double taxation and are an attempt to make hard pressed families pay a second time. It won't work. This is a revenue raising exercise and has absolutely nothing to do with conservation. Today's announcements amount to political trickery to get the water charges over the line and establish the principle of charging for water at any cost. Once water charges are established, water will become a commodity and charges will rise to full cost recovery under EU law. Today's announcements amount to the thin end of the wedge. It's like casting out a sprat to catch a salmon, or a supermarket loss leader, or even the spider come into my parlour, said the spider to the fly. But the public know that this is a trap and they will not be fooled. The public knows too that water charge, charges introduced at a low level will, like refuse or bin charges, balloon to significant sums. And a little story might help. I was a member of Clonmel Corporation when they introduced bin charges at five pounds per year. I opposed those charges as the tin end of the wedge and in time would hit hard pressed families very hard. Of course, I was ridiculed by the usual councillors of Fine Fáil, Fine Gael and the Labour Party. But what, is the, what has happened? Bin charges are now 300 euros per year, more than 30 times the introductory offer. The waiver for low-income families is gone and has been abolished and the service has been privatised. And that is the future if we allow the introduction of water charges. The public know that and they will not be sold a pup a second time like they were in the 2011 general election by the Labour Party. Families have had enough. 
after six years of austerity. And this hated water charge is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Promises of legislation to prevent privatisation are simply that. Promises from a government that cannot be trusted. Proposed legal changes to cap charges for a number of years or to make it more difficult to privatise Irish water or to require a plebiscite are completely bogus. Any act can be repealed by, or amended by a simple majority of deputies. Such a proposal is pure deception. If the government was, severe, was sincere on this issue, it would agree to a constitutional amendment. The public know that only people power can abolish water charges, that only people power can secure the status of water as a human right and as a public good. And the most important task now for the public, for the risen people, is to turn out in huge numbers for the national protest on the 10th of December. And in Tipperary, to support next Saturday's march in Nina at 2 o'clock from the railway station and to support the Clonmel march on the following Saturday, the 29th of November, from the main guard.